Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Devin, the original Grognard himself, stepping into our continuing playthrough of Panzer Leader 1943, Situation 23, Stone, Guderian's Flank, and I just wanted to hit three things, yeah, three things that have come up since the last video playthrough. Um, Sergio, again, pointed out one issue and something I, a rule I didn't even know about. If unit is disrupted, and it gets fired at again, it's at a minus, or it gets attacked again, it's at a minus one on the dice roll for the CRT. That's huge. And that is nowhere in the rule book. It's actually buried in a single line at the bottom of the CRT. Uh, evidently, it's the same way with Panzer Blitz. I didn't check Arab Israeli Wars, but uh, yeah. I, 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 I've been playing this game for 30 years, and I never knew that rule. <laughs> so thank you, Sergio, for pointing that out to me. Um, second of all, Hans, I did want to say, I think I have been remembering to do all the plus one uh, CRT dice roll modifiers for being in the woods. However, when I was moving these guys over here, I didn't spend the two movement points for them moving into woods access. Didn't really matter because, you know, as I was going through post-production, it would have, they'd have gotten there anyways. It had just cost them a little bit more movement points that they had to get there. So there is that. And the other one, U.S. Patriot, did point out that could not have shot at this hex because they don't have anybody next to it. But the Panzerjäger did fire, which does get them marked with a big spike. Spotted marker. So since he fired at the Charbis on the hill, which allowed him to be spotted, which allowed, which will allow them to get shot at now because they know he's there. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, like I said, it's just that that minus one uh, dice roll modifier for firing at a disrupted unit. That that's huge. That is that is actually pretty damn. I. I, I don't know how well or how clear you can see it, but it's it's kind of this blue line right here. I don't know if you can see that. And, it, and that also kind of makes sense for, for why the, the, the CRT goes to a negative two on the dice roll modifier, because you can get a minus two from a close assault tactic and a further minus one from them being disrupted. Oh, actually, minus two for being overrun as well. Uh, so you can actually get... I, I never knew why. I, I just, like I said, I'm not a clever man, especially when I started playing this game when I was, what, 14? Uh, yeah, so that's why the, co the, the, the column, the CRT, goes down to a negative two. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and continue. See how much more stuff we can muck up. Into turn seven. Fritch turn. No minefields. Designating art. Artillery. Well, you know what? Now that we actually can't... Well, hmm. We got artillery dropping here. I might be able to punch through that. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and drop it here on I-3. Or is that I-4? That's I-4. And I-4 with the 105s. And the 155s, yeah, we'll hammer. We'll hammer. Uh, I don't know, though. Anything in there is considered an armored target. Howitzers are half, but it's a 155. So yeah, we'll drop the 155 in there anyways. So that's J1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, J6. All right, uh, resolution of artillery from last time. Let's go with the uh, 155s first that we're hitting R4, which was right here. Obviously, ugh, obviously they can see it. It's the 155 is a 60, firing against an armored target, so a split in half is 30. 30 to 6 is 5 to 1 odds, so it's 4 to 1 on the column. Shift, or 4 to 1 on the table, plus 1 for woods. 6, ooh, saved their butt momentarily. So that disrupts them. However, with all this armor around them, I don't think they're going to last much longer. Oh, that, that is one other thing. I, sh I also wanted to mention this stack was a stack was over. This hex was overstacked. Uh, two stacking points for the Rex, two more for the armored company. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and shift that platoon there. 
just to just to keep things nice and even. All right, so there's that. Uh, 105 millimeter. Both of them are dropping on H4, uh, and we do have this infantry and that armor. They can spot them, so no deviation rolls. 40 divided by 2 is 20. 20 to 8 is 2 to 1. 2 to 1 plus 1 for the woods. Top 4 is 5 is a disrupted. Second one, 3 plus 1 is a 4. Is a disrupted. Now the second 105 battery, because I got smart and decided, hey, why don't I just start hitting the same hex multiple times and trying to do bad things to them. Again, 40 divided by 2 is 20. Of uh, defensive eight, two to one, plus one for the woods, minus one for the disrupted. Now we've got a four, which I think is just a normal disruption. Yep, four is a normal disruption, which is nothing, and five is a normal disruption, which is nothing. Okay. Uh, shooting. Let's see, do we want to fire? No, I don't think we want to fire into there. Or do I? Five, but it's going to be halved for firing at infantry is two and a half, three and a half to eight, which would be what? One to two, one to three. I know math is hard, but plus one, minus one, ass wouldn't be worth it. Let's see, that's one, two, three. Now we're not going to. We're not going to shoot there. I think we're probably close assault. But you know what? Let's shift a little bit like that. What's the range there? Two and two. Mm. Need to figure out some way of breaking them or disrupting them. Yeah, let's go ahead. That's a range of two. So one half, ugh, this is going to be dangerous. Let's do it one at a time. One half, unload, which is going to be seven and a half. They can op fire. It's going to be one to two against the AT gun or two to one versus the truck. Not really worth trying to kill the truck. Okay, seven... Seven and a half, eight, eight and a half. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll just move this guy up here, unload and move back. Mm, we're not in movement yet. I'm an idiot. We're still in shooting phase. So ignore that. We're going to do that during the movement phase. So shooting. Those guys up fired so they can't. The mortars don't have a target. These guys, lots and lots. Yeah, everything's going to pour fire into there. Five, ten, fourteen. 18, actually 5, 9, that's going to be double for less than half range. So 18, and that's going to be another 8 is 26, 27, 28, 20, 30, 31. To 6 is 5 to 1, which is going to be 4 to 1, plus 1 for the woods, minus 1 for disrupted. This is going to be half, that's 5. That's a... Uh, yeah, that's an X. Even if I had rolled a 6, it would have still been a dead unit. So, oops, that one there, there goes their big armor unit there. And we're going to put another rec marker in there. Hmm. Ugly. And what do we got here? We got two, three. Hmm. You know what? I think that's going to be all for shooting. Now we go into movement, we do that, we shift those guys, yada, yada, yada. Uh, these guys will move, actually, those, these guys will move up there. I think these guys will load up. I just, I just don't have the firepower to break through there, but that's okay. We can at least keep these guys honest. Uh, these guys move here. One, two, and then two move here. They're not going to be able to move. They're not going to be able to move. Mm, that looks like that's it. Movement. Now close assaults. Let's go ahead and three, four, five to eight, one to two, 
minus two for close assault plus one five that's going to be nothing and that's going to be five six nope only infantry can close assault so one two yeah they're not that's not going to be anything all right so no close assault there no close assault there no close assault there okay looks like the french are done Shift them back around. Shift them back around. Remove the op fire marker and flip the disrupted units. Really think it's starting to look bad for the Germans now. Yep. All right, German turn. Uh, no minefield attacks, and we go into plotting artillery. Uh, question is, is my threat here or is my threat over here now? Hmm. Or is my threat over here? Those guys I don't think is going to be that much of a threat. I like keeping these guys pinned because that's that's keeping that, that infantry from doing bad things to me and walking over me. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and keep dropping artillery over there. Both artillery batteries are going to fire G4. Um, and uh, from last turn, both artillery batteries fired G4 this turn. Oh, crap. Those guys. Oh, nope. I can see here. These guys can see. It's like, oh, I was afraid I was going to have uh, some deviation rolls there. So first one is going to be 40 divided by four ways is 10 to 5 is 2 to 1 plus 1 for the woods. I got one is a two is a disrupted. One plus one is a two is a disrupted. Five plus one is a six is nothing. And five plus a six is nothing. So that's the first battery. The second battery, again, same thing, two to one. Uh, three plus one is a four, which is not a special disruption. Up. Oh. Plus one, minus one, plus one for the woods, minus one for the disrupted. That is a special disruption. All right, so that will eliminate one of the French infantry. Okay, second one, six is going to be nothing. Third one down, two plus one is three is going to be disrupted. And the final one, one plus, okay, so that that's good for the Germans. So that's all for the artillery fire. Now, regular fire. Uh, it's going to be one to two. Eh, might as well. These guys are fire here, one to two. At one of them. One! Oh, that disrupts one of them. Uh, hmm, now those guys are just going to sit right there. Uh, okay, the Panzerjäger, three. Since it's not at less than half range, if I fired either one of them, I don't get to double my anti-tank. So it's going to be either one to one. Oh, no, it's going to be even worse because my fire pellet would be halved if I fire at the slope. But on the hilltop, it's not. Let's just make sure that... Uh... Oh, yeah, hilltop is also... Uh, half firepower, unless you're right, judge into it. So four to six or four to eight is going to be one to two either way. We got to we got to keep those chars off us though. So he'll go ahead and fire. Oops, he went ahead and fired. So it's going to be four to eight, one to two. Uh, no modifiers. Five is nothing. Yeah. We're probably going to watch those Panzer Jaegers <laughs> dissolve this turn. Uh. Hmm. So the these Panzer or Panzer Kampf wagons are gonna fire at one of the Hotchkisses. So it's gonna be six doubled for being equal to or half less range. So six to twelve. Right, six doubled is twelve to six, two to one odds. Uh Yes, they are in a woods hex. So There's partial wood hex right there. So two to one plus one. Six plus one is nothing. Great. Uh, 
these guys are not going to fire. These guys will go ahead and try to drop artillery on one of these guys again. Again, since it's, oh, but it's direct fire. I think I may have done that wrong last turn. So that combined together, well, let's see, mortars. Yeah, half a tank, attack strength. Halved again, yeah, these guys shouldn't have been able to shoot last turn at them because it's halved for mortars against armor and then halved again for, or is that just direct fire? It's direct fire, but mortars. They're an indirect weapon that fires direct fire. Hmm. Well, we are going to say that they are not going to be able to shoot. Okay. So we can fire here. Four to five is one to two. Uh, minus one. No, let's not even do that. So actually, I think that's going to be all for shooting. Now movement. Now I really need to decide where I want to commit these half tracks. So we'll go one, two, three, unload for eight. Eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, ten. This guy's one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, eight and a half to unload, nine, nine and a half, ten, one, two, three, four and a half, nine and a half to unload. And I you know those guys got, those got machine guns on them though. You know what? Let's go ahead and instead of pulling all of them back, let's just pull the half tracks to here. Because those half tracks can actually do something to the, the French infantry. Yeah, okay, so we got we got really two reserve forces, the company of infantry and the company of half tracks. Of course the half tracks are probably gonna get eaten if they get shot at by the uh, tanks, but we'll see. Um didn't shoot there. He's gonna move here. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And take the up fire marker off because that was last turn. And I think that's it for the German movement as well. Oh, no, 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 no. One. Let's move them right there. Is it smarter to move them into the, into the, into the, Town, eh, probably. Actually, yeah, actually, it is better to move them into the town. And basically, since they saw them moving, and we're going to say they're spotted. I don't want to check the exact rules for it, but I'm pretty sure it's spotted. All right, um, that's going to be it. No close assaults. So, put everybody back to normal who shot and all that good stuff and flips flip those guys back over that's it for German 7 French 8 no minefields plotting artillery hmm starting to get I got four turns left you know what? Let's let's keep the 105s firing right there again. So that's going to be at I4. The 155s fired at J6. Ooh, fired there last turn. You know what? Let's keep the uh, let's keep the fire going on there with the 155s. Okay, uh, artillery resolution. Uh, let's go ahead and do the 105s first. 40 divided by 2, 20 to 8, 2 to 1, plus 1 for the woods. 5 plus 1 is 6 is nothing. Second one, 1 plus is 2. So flip him. All right, second uh, round of artillery from the other 105. 1 plus 1 is 2. 
and 3 plus 1 minus 1. So it's going to be a straight 3 on the 2 to 1, which is a special disruption, which is a dead infantry. Okay, now we're going to start seeing the German lines crack and crumble here, I think. Yeah, probably going to start seeing that line and that road clear. Oh, not good. <laughs> not good for the German defenders. Don't know if the French have got enough time, because they were definitely starting to put some serious pressure on. Um, and then J6 with the 155s, which was 60 divided by 4. Oh, God, that's what? 25? Okay, we'll separate these out. 25 to 8 is 3 to 1. Even though they're not spotted, they're getting hit with artillery in the heck. So, you know, they're going to they're gonna have to suffer it. Uh, so, 3 to 1. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, plus 1 uh, from being in the town. So, these guys are going to be 3 to 1. Two is a disruptor. Oops, actually, no, three to one. Oh, if they're in the woods, they're counted as armored targets, so the attack values from howitzers are halved. So it's 25 divided is 12. is actually going to be one to one. Uh, two plus one is a three. It's a disrupted. Second artillery, one plus two is a three. is going to be disrupted. Uh, unfortunately, these are going to be a little bit worse because this is going to be... 12 to 5, which is 2 to 1. 6 is nothing. And that's going to be a 4 to 1 against those Panzer Jaegers. Uh oh. 1, yeah. Well, those little soft, open top Panzer Jaegers. Really, really doesn't surprise me. They got, uh, they got shelled hard. And they really didn't even do that much either. Ugh, not good. And we got a bunch of broken infantry. Wonderful. French artillery is starting to take its toll. Um, okay, that's it for artillery. Now into the shooting phase. Um, we can go to two, three, four, five, six, seven to eight is one to two plus one. Uh, still, that, that unit needs to be unbroken to really have any effect on it. But you know what? Let's go ahead. Now, you know what, let's just do, let's not even shoot at him. Screw it. I don't even know why we're messing with that infantry platoon. Not going to shoot at that. Uh, these guys, uh, nine is four and a half because they're firing at infantry. Uh, five and a half to eight is going to be one to two. Is it even worth it? One to two plus one negative. Well, yeah, the best I can do is disrupt them. Because plus one for the woods, minus one for being disrupted, so no effect there. Oh, that's going to be bad, though. If my my German artillery is still plotted to there, he's not. Oh, no, but he can still see it. You know what? I'm going to have to, I am going to have to do something about that to break the spotting there. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, well, one to two, plus one. Two plus one is a three. Is it going to be enough? And I think they can still close assault, even though they shot. I better check that real quick. I think the only time you can't close assault is if you unloaded. Because that will definitely make a difference. Okay, close assault. Oh, yeah, units utilizing cat may not make normal attacks. All right, so I can't. All right. Um, hmm. Now, they, they can see these Panzer Kampfwagen 4s. So it's going to be 8, and that's within half range. So it's going to be 16, 17, 24 to 5. Dear God, that's <laughs> 5 to 1. 4 to 1 plus 1. 3 plus 1 is a 4, it is going to be dead Panzerkampfwagens, and another wreck marker in there. Yes, the German lines are definitely starting to fall apart now. And take that spotted marker out of there. Okay, so there's that. Uh, nothing there. Nah, 
I'll just keep them honest there. Hmm. I guess that's it for shooting. Moving. Let's go there, there. These guys are just, now let's take the biggest one, take that five and move him there. Oops. Yeah, those two wreck markers really going to slow down the French. Let's so push that there. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for movement. So, oops, flip them around and unflip them. Flip them to there, flip them to there. Shift them, shift them, and I believe that is it. German turn. Oops. Turn eight. Uh, no minefield, so plotting artillery. I, we're gonna have to go after those guys on the hill. We can't keep can't keep them. Uh, uh, can't have them continuing to shell us. But the problem is they may move up because now they they can't see anything. Because that infantry hasn't shot, and the two units they could see are dead. They have to move up to be able to see me. So you know what? Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I seven. Let's be a little bit tricky. We'll drop the artillery in I seven. And you know what? They may move the French may move the charge there. So J one, two, three, four, five, six on J seven. Okay. Uh, artillery from last turn, G4. Uh, this infantry can spot them again. So it's going to be 40 divided by 3 is 13. Is 2 to 1 plus 1. 5 plus 1 is 6 is nothing. 1 plus 1 is 2, which is a disrupted. And the third one, 1 plus 1 is 2 is a disrupted. Yeah, those are just keeping those... <laughs> French from really doing much. Uh, second battery of artillery, going to be the same thing. Five uh, plus one is six is nothing. Second one, three plus one is a four, which is a normal disruption, which he already is. Four plus one is a five, which is a disruption. Yeah, the German artillery, well, part of the problem is the French infantry is only defense five. They have the defense of eight like the Germans did. They would not be taking those, those type of casualties. Or those type of disruptions. All right, so Ruger shooting phase. Uh, these guys know they need to. They need to keep popping fire at those 37s because if both or those are 25 millimeters, yeah, 25 millimeters. If they get a chance to shoot at them, that's going to turn bad for the infantry real quick. So they'll shoot at one to two, nothing. Okay. Uh, six. He's going to fire at one, double, two to one, plus one. Two plus one is three. Well, that disrupts one. Of course, my other two tanks aren't there anymore. Wow, I'm down to one tank unit left. Eesh, not good. Okay. Mortars can't do anything. Riflemen can't do anything. Half tracks can't do anything. Infantry aren't can't do anything. Four to three, which is one to one. I mean not even worth shooting five, eight. They may close assault. Yeah, I think I may have them close assault. Uh, all right, well, I think that's it for shooting. <coughs> uh, movement. Oh, crap. See, that, that's the problem with those two wreck counters there and the two other infantry. They're at capacity. So I don't want to, uh, let's take one infantry and go one half and then try to sneak him into there next turn. Hey, I could, could get him in there if I'm using the double, if I was using the double time rules, but I'm not using the double time optional rules. Um, the half tracks aren't going to do anything. These guys are just going to fall back a little bit. Uh, these guys are going to shift here. 
And that's it going to be it for movement, I think. And these guys will go ahead and cat here. It's going to be four to eight, which is one to two, but it's minus two on the dice roll. So three, two, one, which is a disruption. That's good. Unfortunately, I don't have anything there that could take advantage of it. Actually, I do. Nah, you know what? That's 20, 75 millimeter infantry gun there. I'm just going to leave them there. It's not, not worth them doing anything. All right. I think that's it for cats. No cats here. No cats there. Yeah. All right. That's it for the Germans. Things have decidedly taken a very bad turn for the Germans. I think flanking this armor up here was a brilliant idea on the French. So that, that, that French commander needs to get a medal or something. So, hopefully I was able to pull that turn off, those two turns off without too much of a problem and too much of a muck up on the rules. Uh, again, thanks to everybody who, uh, who, who wrote in, commented, and uh, uh, wanted to point out my rules mistakes. Like I said, I, you guys are the guys that keep me honest. I mean, I need your guys' input because it's, I'm not a clever man. <laughs> And people who come watching my videos expecting to get the rules, I'm not the best person for to, for learning the rules from. So I need you guys to keep pointing pointing out when I make mistakes. So, oh, and also thanks to everybody who uh, who uh, wished me luck on my job interview I had. Uh, I don't know how it went. Um, it just I can never tell, and I won't hear for a couple days yet. So, but thank you everybody who wished me well on that. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms in the comment section. And I'll see everybody on the flip side. Hiya!